features TV 23 sports director Frank DeMarco and Rudy Pikarski. Okay, Rudy, we're about ready for the tip off of this ball game. There are no favorites really in this class AAA tournament this year. All four of the finalists are unranked. Barberton, Toledo, Scott playing here, and in the game to follow, Lima going uh, up against the uh, ball, other ball club uh, that's still alive, Cincinnati, Roger Bacon. All four of them unranked as we go into the final four here. The winners come back tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock for the Class AAA Championship. Barberton and Toledo, Scott, they met back in 1976 in the semifinal when Barberton beat them to uh, go on to the championship game when they beat Middletown. Here's the rematch five years later. David Blanks against Seaborn White for the Toledo Scott Bulldogs. A sold out throng here at St. John Arena on this Friday morning. There's the tip and Onisic steps in to grab it off for Barberton. And the Magics have the basketball the first time down the floor. On top with a Todd Ondecker and Richard Sims. They got the offense out, and Toledo Scott in the zone. On Decker spins at the top of the key off to Smart. In the left corner, Blanks is double team. Goes to the wing, tried to put up a shot, had the ball knocked away, but fouled by Seaborn White, the 6'5 senior for Toledo Scott. He's the tallest player on the Bulldog team, and it's a good move by David Blanks. The two men on him, he was against the tough man-to-man -man defense. He tried to go to the hoop. Almost looked like a good block, but evidently Seaborn White got some skin and blanks to go to the line. He's a 51% shooter from the field, 67% foul shooter. Blanks puts it up and he's short with the first one. Foul in the act of shooting, of course he'll get two here. Blanks, an honorable mention, all state in some selections and got most of his recognition with his superb work in the tournaments. Second free throw by the senior Blanks is good and Barberton takes a quick one nothing lead here. Then, they, of course, they got the pressure defense in the backcourt and forced the turnover. Sims and on a second the backcourt on Michael Roberts. Forced him to travel with it for Toledo. Scott Barberton gets it back. The Magic will have to get a bundle off them Bulldogs, forcing them in the turnovers to stay in this ballgame. Toledo Scott in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. They have Barberton forced way out again on offense. Smart on the right wing goes to the corner, lost his balance. The ball went out of bounds, and Toledo Scott gets it right back. One to nothing, Barberton leads as they do a little cleanup on the floor to make sure the moisture's up. And Toledo Scott inbounding and uh, again trying to break the pressure defense. Roberts over the timeline, down the lane all the way, underneath the Seaburn White, too hard off the glass and a foul underneath. And that's going to be, it looks like, on Toledo Scott, their big man, Jim Smith, the fellow who leads them in scoring, rebounding, and just about every category. I think it's going to be on Seaburn White, wasn't it? Well, they got Smith had his hand up. Okay. It's one nothing Barbara. It's 7:05 to go in the first period. Magic's with the basketball. On Decker has it partially blocked out front by Draper, and Toledo Scott comes down the floor. Roberts at the foul line throws it over the head of Smith and down the exit ramp. Barberton gets it back on another Toledo Scott turnover. The Bulldogs have yet to score. Barberton has the one foul shot by David Blank. That's all we've gotten in the first minute, five seconds. And now Toledo Scott puts pressure in the backcourt. Richard Sims back there up against Draper. Sims looking for someone to throw to. Has it knocked away. His pass by White. Stolen away from Jim Smart. And Toledo Scott with it. Draper over on the left wing to Smith. Back on top it goes to Michael Roberts. Michael Roberts waits for Draper to cut behind him. Has the ball knocked away by Onisic, but picks it back up. And Barberton's pressure defense has Toledo Scott forced out front. Ondecker knocks it away to Onisic. Another steal by the Magic. As Onisic comes down the floor, Smith gave him an elbow from the backside. And that'll be Jim Smith. Should be his second personal foul here. Number 35, Jim Smith. That's it, boy. That's a good break for the Barberton Magic to get that man in foul trouble, averaging better than 25 points and 12 rebounds a game. He now has two personal fouls. The leader of the Toledo Scott team with a couple early fouls. Smart trapped along the sideline, goes into the lane off the basket. He missed the shot low, had a lot of traffic in the middle of the battle, and Toledo Scott picked up the loose ball in the corner. Smith got it over to Roberts and now Draper. The guards for Toledo Scott have it out front. 
Smith on left wing, guarded by Ondecker. And back around the perimeter it goes, so it finds its way to Donald Pope on the right side. Here is Roberts hopping from 22 feet. It's no good. The ball comes out front. They battle for it. Roberts has it. Shovels it underneath the white. His shot blocked by Blanks. But we have a whistle, and uh, we're going to have a foul called, I think, there underneath. Going to be on Jim Smart. Blanks got the block, but Smart from up underneath uh, Seaburn White threw the personal. 1-0. Barberton with the lead with 5.48 to go in the first quarter as Seaborn White goes to the free throw line. 6'5", senior, will have to toss the free throws into the purple crowd behind that basket. The Barberton people waving their hands in their purple balloons as White shoots and makes it. Now tied at 1-1. White, the senior, going for the second free throw. Looking kind of cool, despite all the Barberton fans heckling him. Makes the second one with nothing but net. And Toledo Scott has the lead 2-1. Magic's down the floor quickly against the backcourt press. Sims in the right corner, throws it on top. It's a wild throw. Draper's got it. Robert Draper all the way. Missed the shot. Smart got the basketball. Now, we had a whistle way back in the backcourt, and they called Draper out of bounds before the play really got underway. So Barberton will have it in the forecourt, trailing by a point two to one. And Toledo Scott exerting some pressure on, on defense of their own here. Sims in the corner to Smart. Back on top to Ondecker and over to Anasik in the corner right. That's Sims. He's blocked out. Throws it on top. Ondecker open down the lane. Open on the baseline. Anasik over white. It's short. Anasik got it back in the lane. Fakes up with a half hook. It rolls off. A blank tip misses. And Barberton will still maintain possession as Toledo Scott touched it last before it went out of bounds. Three shots at the hoop for the Magics and nothing went down. On Decker in the right corner to Jim Smart. He has it knocked away by Smith. Smart started to control it. Lost it out of bounds. And Toledo Scott gets it back. Five turnovers already on the Magics. That's too many. Last week against the Lions, they only had 13 in the entire ball game here in less than three minutes. They have committed five. The Bulldogs have committed four. Now five for them. Sims intercepts that pass at the ball line. In and out. Blank's got the tip, though, for Barberton. David Blanks with all three magic points, and Toledo Scott wants a timeout. 4.52 to go, first quarter. It's Barberton three, Toledo Scott two. We'll be back right after this. The American Eagle is constantly seeking new ways to expand its precious habitat and rediscover the total freedom it once enjoyed. The people of this community are also seeking ways to increase their banking freedom, and they're turning to First National's Freedom 24 automated teller machine. Because with Freedom 24, you can take care of nearly all your banking needs 24 hours a day, every day of the year. And you can enjoy the freedom of Freedom 24 banking at 14 area locations, including our new drive-in at the Bailey Road office and our new Oregon Corners office in Stowe. Come to any First National office and find out how easy it is to do your banking anytime you like with the Freedom 24 automated teller machine. Discover total banking freedom. Soar with the eagle at First National Bank of Akron. Here at St. John Arena in Columbus, the first period, seen a lot of turnovers. Toledo Scott with the basketball, down three to two to Barberton here. As the Bulldogs bring it down the floor, Robert Draper has it at the point, and he's harassed by Onisic. Got it over to Roberts. Roberts now at the point. Roberts throws it off to Draper along the left sideline. Draper with a dribble, throws it through the key, off to Roberts, goes to the bucket, got an easy two. Michael Roberts moving away from the basketball, got himself open. Toledo Scott leads 4-3. Wygan in the ball game, tried to throw a pass and ran into a Toledo Scott man, Roberts. And Wygan drew the charging foul. Excellent defensive pressure put on that time and caught the little guy right before he got the midcourt for the charging foul. Turnover number six against the Magics. Well, they're going to come down almost right in front of us here to inbound this pass. Draper and Roberts handing it back and forth. Honestly, comes out to put pressure on Draper. Draper down the lane, off underneath. White wide open, got an easy two. 
That's twice coming down the right baseline. Toledo Scott's had a bunny. They lead now 6-3. J.K. Gretel's in the game to Wigan, to Sims, down to Blanks. Blanks along the left baseline in the lane. Wigan goes down, has it blocked there by Pope. The ball loose in the corner. Barberton has it back. Sims left of the foul line. Up good. I tell you, Toledo Scott's tenacious on defense. They are quick. They are right with the Magics all the way. They can all sky, too. 6-5, Toledo Scott with only a one-point lead, though. 3.41 to go first quarter. Draper at the point. Starts to go down the lane on a sick and Grenells cut him off. Turnaround jumper by Roberts in the lane. He got it. Roberts with four points. It's 8-5, to five. Toledo Scott. A pass to Sims. Two Toledo men collide, and a foul is called. It's Seaver and White, and especially Michael Roberts are down hurt. That's Roberts still on the floor. They both went for the basketball and really ran smack into each other. They'll give the personal foul to Roberts, his first team foul number four. Well, Roberts got up with a bit of a limp, but he's going to stay in there. It still looks a bit stunned as he gets back on defense. He's trying to shake it off as Barberton brings it up the floor with the two sophomores, J.K. Grenells and Terry Wigan. Wigan at the point. Throws it on the other side of the perimeter to Hanasik in the corner. J.K. Gretel's 15-footer is short. And up high, Jim Smith for the rebound for Toledo Scott. Smith almost lost it on the dribble, but it's saved there by Toledo Scott. Off to Smith on the pass as Gretel's missed the interception. Smith on the baseline, fall away, jumper, hit it. Jim Smith, who averages 25 a game, gets his first two. It's 10-5, Toledo Scott over Barberton. As the Magics bring it down the floor again, and again, they're forced out front. Wigan with the basketball in the corner. Odyssey goes down the baseline, up from eight feet. It's an air ball, and Roberts got it on the other side for the Bulldogs. Roberts drives it down into the forecourt for Toledo Scott. At the point, that's Willie Shelton, 15 for Toledo Scott, and he double dribbled with the basketball. Well, the Magic's are getting their chances. They've only hit on two out of nine from the field here in less than six minutes of action in the first quarter, trailing by five as number 33, Daryl Shellman, a 6'4 junior, comes into the Bulldog lineup. Barberton brings it up the floor again with the two sophomores. Wigan and Reynolds. Wigan at the top. Over to Anasik. They're working around the perimeter now as Toledo Scott has them forced out on offense. Barberton down 10 to 5 with 2.13 to go in this first period. Anasik cross court to Gretels. Up from right wing. Got it. J.K. Gretels with nothing but net. It's 10 7. Toledo Scott by three. And this time Barberton backs up into the forecourt on defense. Now they meet Roberts at the top. Gets it off to Shelman. Shelman in the corner. Daryl Shelman holding it, holding it, looking for someone. Now behind him, he finds uh, Smith. Smith puts up a shot, missed it, and sims the rebound. Off to Grenells. Grenells bounces to the head. Grenells intercepted, though, by Smith. Smith against Wagon goes all the way, missed it. Roberts tip misses. Grenells got the rebound. The Magic's dodge a bullet there. Still 10-7 Toledo Scott. Roberts on top of Wigan for his second personal foul. Well, better yet, that'll give the Magics the one-on-one -on -one for the remaining uh, minute and a quarter of this period. And the entire second period, only two personal fouls called on the Magics. Number 52, Jim Smart, comes back to the Barberton lineup, replacing Todd Onasik. At the line for the Magics, Terry Wigan, the 5'6 sophomore, scoreless in the ballgame so far. 60% foul shooter during the regular season. Wigan waiting to get the basketball as we wait for some more substitutions for Toledo Scott. Quentin Harris will be coming in and Reggie Taylor as Seaborn White and Donald Pope, the other two forwards, sit down now. And we're going to have one more Toledo Scott substitution. Raper back in the game and Jim Smith, the big man, the scorer, the rebounder, sits down. So the front line has been totally replaced here for Toledo Scott with substitutions. Coach Ben Williams makes those substitutions and Wigan misses the first end of the one and one. Smart out battles the Bulldogs for the basketball. Smart throws it cross court to David Blanks. Blanks stands tall to Sims in the lane, puts it up, got it, he fouled. 
Oh, what a good quick shot by Richard Sims. As soon as he touched the ball, he turned to the bucket, threw it up, and drew the personal. Good speed by David Blanks, looking for Sims coming across the middle all the way, and able to draw the personal try for the three-point play to tie the, try to tie the score for the second time. 23, Quentin Harris, who just came into the ball game, drew that personal for Toledo Scott. And Richard Sims will go to the free throw line with that chance to tie it for Barberton. It's up and good. And the Magics have got back even with Toledo Scott. They're going to press him in the backcourt. Roberts over to Draper. Draper tries to dribble through Grenells and Smart. And uh, let's see, they're going to give it back to Toledo Scott on the uh, turnover back there. Someone kicked it for Barberton. Not a turnover, but a violation. You're not allowed to kick the basketball. Draper has it at the point. Behind him to Roberts. Roberts grabbed at the point by Sims and Grenells. Off to Draper. Draper comes to the wing. Back on top to Roberts. The guards controlling it for Toledo Scott. Inside it goes, but it's stolen away by Blanks. Intended for Reggie Taylor underneath. Barberton with the steal and a chance to grab the lead back here as the first period comes down to the final 38 seconds. Barberton looks at the clock. Jack Reynolds is up off the bench. He wants him to pull it out and play for the last shot of the quarter. 29 seconds to go. Jim Smart into Grenells. Grenells down into the lane and back out again. 23 seconds left. They'll weave and they'll run with it, dribble with it, and wait till about the 10 second mark and then try and get that last shot. We've got 15 seconds to go. Wigand dribbling out on top. Now Grenells, and now we're under 10 seconds left. Smart down left of the lane to the hoop. Has it rejected by Taylor. The ball out front. And Scott down the floor. Draper throws it up. Blake's got a piece of it. It went down. It counts. Right at the buzzer. It looked like David Blanks almost had it blocked, but Toledo Scott got the basket. At the end of the first period, they lead Barber to 12 to 10. We'll be back right after this. Visit your nearest surplus junk store for power and hand tools, socket sets, wrenches, and screwdrivers, nuts, bolts, and drill bits sold by the pound at surplus junk stores. Drill presses, Lincoln welders, air compressors, and power generators to suit every need. Foam rubber and upholstery materials, plus housewares and cleaning aids. Also, backpacks for hikers and campers, motor oil, waxes, polishes, and additives for your car. The surplus junk stores in Akron, Canton, and Brunswick. Use your Visa or MasterCard. When you get a craving for pizza and nothing else will do, then Pizza Hut is a place for you. Nothing but pan pizza will do for you when you just gotta have that ooh, homemade taste. All your favorite toppings can't wait. When you just gotta have that mmm, there's nothing like pan pizza at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurant. Your hometown Pizza Hut. Home of pan pizza. Play the Magic sitting only four out of 13 from the field in the first quarter. Two for four at the foul line. The Bulldogs cashing in on five out of 12 from the field. Two for two at the line. Four points apiece for Seaburn White and Michael Roberts. For the Bulldogs, five points for Richard Sims as the Magic control the second quarter chip. They come down the floor quickly. J.K. Reynolds, right corner, gunned it and got it. Reynolds with four points, and Barberton ties it up quickly here at the beginning of the second period. It's 12-12. Right through the hands of Shulman out of bounds, and Barberton gets it back on a mistake by the Bulldogs. Eight turnovers by Toledo Scott. Barberton coming back down the floor now, trying to take the lead back. Jim Smith, the big scorer for Toledo Scott, getting ready to check back into the game when he gets a chance. Barberton weaving back and forth out front. Sims has it now at the point. Sims bounces it off to Wigand. Wigand guarded closely by Draper, pulls it back out between the circles. Smart makes a pass to Grenells, back on top to Richard Sims. Barberton weaving around, weaving. Sims into the lane, puts the shot up off the glass too hard. A battle for the rebound. Blank's got it, turned around, got it off the glass. David Blank's with five, Barberton with the lead at 14-12, 7.02 to go first half. Michael Roberts down left of the lane, up from 12 feet, nothing but net. Michael Roberts has six, and Toledo Scott quickly ties it back at 14. Reynolds out front, he's being harassed. Got it to Smart. Smart throws it to Sims, left of the foul line, up with the shot, he got another one. Richard Sims with seven leads, the Barberton scoring, the Magics. Back with the lead again at 16-14. 6.38 to go in the first half. 
as Scott brings it down the floor. Roberts threw it in the corner there. That's for Daryl Shellman. He's double teamed off to Roberts. Goes to the hoop off the glass too hard. Smart up for a good rebound. Smart clears it to Grenells. Two on two. Grenells spins and they're going to slow it down. Gets it to Blanks behind it, but Blanks traveled with the basketball. And that's turnover number eight against Barberton. Eight for each ball club now. And Ben Williams, the Toledo Scott coach, has uh, brought his starting front line back in the ball game. That being Jim Smith, Seaburn White, and Donald Pope. As the Magics bring it down the floor, or the Bulldogs do, excuse me. This is Draper with it. Draper off to Smith along the left sideline into Seaburn White, working against Blanks down the baseline to the hoop, and he muscled everyone to get the bucket. Seaburn White with six, and we're tied again at 16 all. And that is five times we've been tied in this game. In the corner, Smart on top to Wigan. Wigan with the dribble. Sims now in the corner. J.K. Gretels, but in the corner, he took a half a hesitation step as a travel. And Toledo Scott will get it back. We've got 5.39 here to go in the second period as the Bulldogs get ready to bring it up. But first, we're going to have some substitutions before Robert Draper there on the sideline will inbound it. Todd Honest again for J.K. And number 41, Don Pope, returning to the Bulldog lineup, replacing number 51, Michael White. Toledo Scott getting ready to bring it up the floor. Here they come with the guards, Roberts and Draper. This is Robert Draper now with the basketball. Smith at a high post, throws it back on top to Draper. Now in the right wing, Pope back to Draper on top. Barberton zone going right with them. Draper throws it in the corner to Pope. Back to Roberts, and they can't get it to their big scorer, Smith, right now. Roberts down the baseline, off to Pope from four feet away. He's short. Smith got the rebound. White put up a shot, I mean. Then Smith got it on the other side. Fall away jumper misses, then went back down in. Oh, it looked like it was going to be too long. He hit the back side of the rim from where he was at, and it came back down in Toledo Scott's favor. The Bulldogs with a two-point lead again at 18-16. 4.48 to go in the half. Barberton around the perimeter with it. Smart fakes up. Now he throws a pass now to Sims. He tries to save it. Does the Wigand. Underneath Blanks. Run up off the glass for two. Beautiful assist by Terry Wigand as he set up Blanks perfectly. Seven points for David Blanks. Seven for Richard Sims. Barberton has tied it again at 18 all. Draper and Roberts out front. Roberts pops to right of the foul line. Blanks up high for the rebound. Ahead to Jim Smart. He dribbles down the middle of the floor. On the left side, Onesik. Here's Sims down the baseline. Crashed into Pope. A foul is called, and it's going to be on Donald Pope. No, it's going to be on uh, Sims of Barberton for the charge. That'll be his first personal. I wasn't quite sure if Pope had the position and if they were looking at him, but they ended up calling it on Sims. Toledo Scott will inbound against the backcourt pressure of the Magics. Roberts clears it to Draper. One on one against Blanks off to Seaburn White. He goes to the boards and scores. Seaburn White with eight leads to Toledo Scott scoring, and he's been muscling in there for the Bulldogs. 20 to 18. Barberton down by two. Smart in the lane. Sims right in front of the bucket. Got the basket, but he fouled again on the charge. Jim Smith drew that charge on Richard Sims. That play was set up beautifully on the pass from the corner into the lane, Rudy. But again, Sims called for the charging violation. Well, we lost control of the basketball a little bit and trying to get control without traveling ended up with the charge. Barberton presses in the backcourt. Draper almost lost it, but saved it. 350 to go in the half. Toledo Scott leads Barberton 2018. Roberts at the point, moves up to the foul line, now off to Draper, bombs it from 22 long, Blanks up for the rebound for the Magics. Blanks fakes, throws it over, Wigand's headed to the crowd. Blanks was in midair when he tried that pass, and it was a do-or-die situation. He really didn't have much choice. He had to toss it away, and he just couldn't get his balance back to hit Terry Wigand. 12 turnovers on the Magics. That's too many. Under three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Barberton down by two, 20 to 18. 
Smith out front now. Throws it back to Draper for Toledo Scott. Over to Roberts on the left wing. Roberts comes inside of Smith at the foul line. Anasik is right on it. Draper at left wing, up off the glass, no good. Flanks another rebound, and I think he's fouled. Seaburn White crashed into him. That's his second personal. It's been a good battle underneath between Seaburn White and David Blanks, although White has been able to uh, use a lot more of the muscle that he's got there. David's done a good job on the board so far. That's rebound number six. In the scoring department, he's hit on three out of four from the field, one for two at the line for his seven points. 51% shooter from the field, 67% foul shooter during the season. Three minutes and nine seconds to go. The match is trying to tie it for the seventh time in the ballgame. It's the one and one, the bonus. David Blanks up with the first one, rules off, no good. Pope got the rebound for Toledo Scott. The Bulldogs down the floor. Jim Smith throws it back on top, and we have another new guard. Ben Williams just about unloads the bench for Toledo Scott. Roberts has it on top now. Roberts down the left of the lane. His shot misses. A foul underneath, and that's going to be on Barberton. As Blanks and White were going for that rebound, it's going to be Blanks called for the personal, his first. So it'll put Seaburn White at the free throw line, and White with eight points leads the Toledo Scott scoring thus far in the game. Six five seniors hit on three out of five from the field. Two for two at the line. One rebound, two personal fouls as he can try to give them their biggest lead of the ball game since the five point spread midway in the first quarter of play. Toledo doing a fine job, especially on defense. They're switching. They come down one time, they're man to man. Next time they're a zone and trying to uh, mix the Barberton kids up. And right now Barberton's shooting still off a little bit. Blanks is getting a little frustrated there along the uh, lane as the officials nitpick him about his position there. White, the left-handed shooter, will try the second one now to put Scott up by four points. It's good. 22-18, Toledo Scott. Ten points for Seaburn White, and they press in the backcourt. Reynolds goes through two of them, ahead to Anasik down the right sideline. Anasik into the lane, and we got a foul goal. To be on Donald Pope, number 41, for the Bulldogs to send on a six to the line. He had three shots in the first quarter, missed all three from the field. Is scoreless so far. He's the best shooter on the Barberton team, 53% from the field, and 81% foul shooter. Not on a six will take that wide straddle at the free throw line. He uh, doesn't have uh, textbook shooting technique, but he gets the job done. Puts up the first one on the one and one and got nothing but net for his first point of the morning. And we're still in the morning here. I'm surprised you're awake this early. Uh, Bob, Adam and Bob gave me the secret. A bowl of Rice Krispies and two Bud Lights and you're on your way. It's just like <laughs> Friday night then. <laughs> on his second one in, out and back down again. And it's 22-20. Barberton within a bucket as they press him in the backcourt. Smart has Roberts trapped, but he found Smith over the timeline. Three on two. Smith into the lane. Has it knocked away by Blanks, but a foul from behind. It's going to be on on Decker of Barberton. Well, they caught on Decker, but I don't think he was the man that uh, reached in on that foul. On Decker's had a tough tournament trail. He's been helping the Magic bring up the ball and break the press and play some good defense, but scoring, he just hasn't had any luck at all. At the line... Their big scorer who's hit on two out of four from the field, four points in the game, three rebounds. Jim Smith, a 6'4 senior, with a 25-point-plus average, and it bounces off the iron, no good. He's only got four points in this ball game this afternoon. He's a fellow we expected to see a lot of offense from, but Barberton's kind of stopped him from getting the ball, much as they stopped Darius Awful from Alliance from getting the ball last week. Second Smith free throw also misses. He's 0 for 2 there, and Barberton can tie it back up again with 2.25 to go in the half. Ondecker and Grenells on the right side. Now Anasik in the corner comes out. Ondecker from the top, got it. Oh, about time. That Ondecker, who has been held scoreless the last couple of ball games, gets his first two here this morning, and we're tied at 22-22 with about two minutes to go in the half. Rob
Roberts over on the left wing to Smith, goes to the baseline against Ondecker, into the lane, over Blanks, too hard on the shot, and the ball slapped out to Odyssey, to Ondecker. Ondecker down the floor, stops, Blanks, turnaround jumper from 18, short, Ondecker got it, put it back up, missed, Blanks had it, lost it, comes out front to Smith of Toledo Scott. To Roberts, past Reynolds, to the bucket, he is hit hard, and he missed the shot, Jim Smart, came right over from behind him and got a good hunk of Michael Roberts, who's been belted a couple of times in this game already. That's Smart's second personal foul. As you said, he got his money's worth on that foul. Michael Roberts, six-foot senior, first time at the line. He's been trying to pop from the field, though. He's hit on three out of ten for his six points in the game. He's picked up two personal fouls and has three rebounds. As Rob Mullet makes his first appearance in St. John's, as he'll replace Jimmy Smart in the Barberton lineup. Michael Roberts, six-foot senior guard at the free throw line. He's got six points so far in the game. And he's been the basic quarterback for the Bulldogs at the free throw line. Gets the first one perfectly through. Jack Reynolds on one knee as is his usual position through the course of a game when he's not up uh, spouting his beliefs to the men in the striped shirts. Robert's second free throw, also good. That's eight points for him, and it's a 24-22 Scott Lee. Barber breaks the press. J.K. Grenells down the right side to Onisic in the corner, who's trapped. Onisic trying to get away from Pope and Smith. The ball dribbled out of bounds. It belongs still to Barber. I think he got it off of someone's knee there. Good play by Onisic. Good thinking there. Had nowhere to go, so he bounced it off the Toledo players. 128 left in the half. 24-22, Toledo, Scott leads Barberton by two. The Magic's with the basketball. Out front, J.K. Grenells to the point to Ondecker. Back to Grenells. Grenells now starts to move left. He takes the point, hands it off to Ondecker. Onisic to the left of the lane. Guarded closely there by Eric Williams. Back to Grenells. Bumped out front by Roberts, and that's a foul. Toledo Scott plays it awfully tight, and that time it was too tight. And Michael Roberts, who has eight points and has been leading Toledo Scott on the floor, now has three personals. Well, right there, that's another help as far as Barber is concerned, depending what happens in the early part of the third quarter. If they can continue to get him, Roberts, and Smith into foul trouble as J.K. pops in the first one. He now has five points in the game, one for one at the line, two for three from the field. 63% foul shooter during the season. J.K. Grenell, 6'1", sophomore son of the coach. Willie Shelton will be coming in now for Toledo Scott. Grenells, of course, had the game-winning shot against Warren Western Reserve. And off the bench this year, he's averaging over nine points a game. He's got his sixth this morning right there to tie it up again at 24-24 with 105 to go in the half. Here's Shelton with it for Toledo Scott. Gets away from Mullet and Grenells in the corner. Smith puts up a high archer and got it. Jim Smith with six, three field goals in the game. And Toledo Scott back on top, 26-24. 50 seconds to go. Grenells goes toward the lane, and he walked with the basketball. Toledo Scott will get it back with 46 seconds left. It's been tight throughout. Toledo Scott had a five-point lead in the first period. Got it out to four here in the second quarter. But we've had over a half dozen ties in the game. And it's basically been a two-point difference throughout most of the contest. Sheldon brings it up, bangs it to Anasek, and he's going to draw the foul. That'll be Willie Shelton's first personal. 42 seconds to go in the first half. And uh, that backcourt foul will allow Barber to inbound it from the side. J.K. Grenells will move over now in front of the Toledo Scott bench to throw it in. Grenells down the right sideline into the corner to Onisic. He's double teamed again. Onisic looking for someone, throws it. It's picked off by Sheldon. Sheldon ahead to Smith, two on one. Smith all the way with the hook. It's way short. The rebound underneath Williams had, but then a foul called, and that's going to be on Barberton. Smith. Must be a little frustrated out there, a fellow who averages 25 points a game because he just threw up a shot, Rudy, that had absolutely no chance of hitting any. Well, a little bit selfish move by Smith that time, refusing to pass off to his teammate who was open underneath the hoop, trying to draw the foul, but there was just a bad shot all the way around. The Magic's getting in trouble every time they go in that uh, corner, or either corner, against this tall, taller uh, Toledo 
basketball team, and uh, the Magic getting themselves in a whole lot of turnover problem, especially in that corner. 14 now. Eric Williams, who was fouled underneath by David Blanks. It was Blanks' second personal. Williams at the free throw line. And again, Ben Williams with his substitutions for Toledo Scott has Reggie Taylor back in there. He's already used over uh, nine or ten people in the ball game. Scott leading by two points. Williams free throw no good on Decker. The rebound 26 seconds left. They head to Wygant. The Grenells on the left side. And now on Decker will set it up for Barberton. Wygant and on Decker have it. 16 seconds left. Jack Grenells up. Wants him to play for the last shot of the half again. It backfired at the end of the first quarter. Here's J.K. Grenells with eight seconds left to on Decker. He makes a move up and traveled with the basketball. Five seconds to go in the half, and Toledo Scott will get it back again, and they'll have the opportunity for the last shot of the first half. Eric Williams will be taking the basketball out of bounds. He brings it up to Smith. Smith traveled with it. Four seconds left. Smith got in a pickle in the middle of the floor and just took one step too many there, trying to get away from Barberton. The Magics will have one more crack at tying it here. 26-24, they're down by two with four seconds to go. Mullet got the inbounds <laughs> pass, and he traveled. Three walking calls in a row in, what was it, three seconds? Now Toledo Scott with a chance with three seconds left. Smith inbounds to Williams into the forecourt, off the Pope, up with the shot at the buzzer, no good. Rolled off the rim, and that's the end of the first half. Toledo Scott leads Barberton 26 to 24 at halftime of the state AAA semifinal game. We'll return to St. John Arena here in Columbus right after this. If you plan to keep your car for a while, turn it over to Goodyear regularly for a lube and oil change. Changing oil, as recommended by the manufacturer, is one of the best ways to keep your engine running smoothly, mile after mile. And your Goodyear service store will do it quickly. And we'll do it right with a lube and up to five quarts of major brand oil. Get a lube and oil change now at this low price. Come up to Goodyear. We never doubted you for a minute. That's how divorce feels about the Barberton Championship season. Win or lose, divorce congratulates Barberton on their tremendous success. It's the same drive for excellence that's part of Divorce Hoppigan Gardens. Excellence in food and service and a desire to please every customer. There's something on the divorce menu to please everyone, but that's only part of the reason divorce is as popular as they are. It's their delicious crispy fried chicken dinners, like the divorce carryout special, a 15-piece bucket of chicken with coleslaw and hot sauce. You'll love it. That's Divorce Hoppigan Gardens, Hoppigan Extension, Barberton. Back here at St. John Arena, it's halftime. Toledo Scott leads Barberton 26 to 24. And uh, it's been a tight ball game throughout Rudy Pye. Not uh, really a big lead by any ball club. Toledo Scott did have a five point edge at one point, but Barberton roared back to uh, tie it up again. We've been tied numerous times and we've had numerous turnovers in the game. Well, I think the key is right there, that turnover department. Barberton with 16 turnovers in the first half, and they've been averaging in the tournaments just about 13 for entire ball games in the tournament, which has helped them pull the upsets, and uh, their shooting has been a little bit better in the tournament. Toledo's doing an excellent job coming down floor. They're making the Barberton players really think. Every time they come across midcourt, you don't know what kind of defense they're going to be in. They're playing the 2-1-2 zone, the 1-2-2 zone. Then they come at you with the man-to-man. -man, and uh, when they trap you in the corner, there's just no way the smaller Magics are able to get the ball out of the corner, except for the one good play by Onisic when he bounced it off of a Bulldog's leg, and it bounced out of bounds, but you're taking a chance there, 50-50 chance. You can't get in the corner. You can't let them corner you down there, and uh, they're just doing a fine job, a fine job on defense, forcing the Magics into too many mistakes. And as far as the Bulldogs are concerned, they opened up with a whole bunch of mistakes and finished the first half with only 10 turnovers, and it looked like they made we might have been on their way to making about 40 in the ball game, but uh, they're doing a little bit better in that department. Both teams, the players coming off the bench, actually Barberton's bench has been better coming off the bench. J.K. with the six points, and no one has scored off the bench for Toledo Scott. So Barberton making the turnovers. They still get a lot of time left. It's still a 50-50 shot all the way to see who gets to Saturday's title game 
in the Class AAA rankings. The Magic's trailing by two points, 26-24 to the Cleveland Scott Bulldogs here at the half. And of course, right after this ball game will be the second state AAA semifinal contest. That'll pit Lima against Cincinnati Roger Bacon. And whoever wins the two ball games here this morning and this afternoon at St. John Arena will come back tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. for the state AAA championship. Now, uh, you know, there haven't been many teams the, from outside of uh, the southern or central part of the state of Ohio have won AAA basketball championships, and most of them have come from our area. Central Howard, Barberton, and about the only other one is Cleveland East Tech. Oh, the Scarabs back in the 50s and the 60s, the East Tech Scarabs. Did they bring a crowd down here when they won the titles? They were something else. Well, we're going to take a look at the first half statistics of this afternoon's or this morning's semifinal game between Barberton and Toledo Scott. Toledo Scott leads it 26-24 at halftime, back right after this. Got car fever? We've got the solution. Convenience of location is an important part of any automobile transaction. We can offer convenient Interstate 76 accessibility to the greater Akron, Canton, Cleveland area. Easy to find, easy to get to, not difficult to deal with. Mary Oldsmobile, Interstate 76 at the Barberton Norton Barber Road, Exit 16 in Barberton. Red Label Bologna for 89 cents a pound, now at Lawson's. Lawson, aren't you glad we're here? Friends Office Equipment announces the chair sale of the year. Why wait for a new chair when you can buy one now at Friends for 30% off? Friends Office Equipment in downtown Akron, come in today. Hi, this is Mike Dauberton speaking for the Communications Workers of America. The members of Local 4302 wish the Barberton Magics good luck and victory. And Columbus in the state AAA semifinal. At halftime, it's Toledo Scott leading Barberton by the score of 26-24. And let's take a look at the first half statistically, Rudy Pye. How about that Jolly Jack Ryan? Is he doing a job first time, huh? He gets this once a year whenever we make it to Columbus, and he's got to really work. He's one of the best. In the first half, the Barber to Magic's hitting on only 9 out of 21 from the field. They cash 6 for 9 at the foul line. The Toledo Scott Bulldogs taking 27 shots at the hoop and cashing in on 10 at the foul line. They also hit on 6 out of 9. Individual scoring, David Blank, seven points, seven rebounds for Barberton. Richard Sims, seven points. Todd Anasik, two points at the foul line for his only points of the game. He's only had three shots all coming in the first quarter at the hoop. Todd Ondecker has scored for the Magics, and that's a good sign. One basket for two points. Jimmy Smart held scoreless. And off the bench, J.K. Grenolds with six points. Wygan and Mullen scoreless for the Toledo Scott Bulldogs, Seaburn White, the 6'5 senior, hitting for 10 points. Jim Smith, 6 points, 19 points under his average. Michael Roberts with 8. Michael Draper with 2. No one else has scored for the Toledo Bulldogs. Okay, that's uh, the way we have it here at halftime. Toledo Scott leading Barberton, 26 to 24. And the teams are still back in the locker room. you got to wonder uh, maybe a little bit about what Jack Reynolds is telling his ball club. They're in it. They're... Uh, a close contest and Toledo Scott really looks like a more physical ball club than uh, Barber. Well Scott can play this type of game especially in tournament they're used to this and the, the Magics have been playing this kind of a ball game all season long didn't win by a whole lot of points a number of times even though they got the winning record average 67 on the offense and uh, 60 on the defense only seven point spread during the course of mo most of their games a lot of things are coming up basketball continues after this weekend the girls Kiwanis All-Star Classic will be held at Kenmore High April 3rd and 4th, 4 o'clock on Saturday, 3 o'clock on Sunday. See the best of the high school girls in action, Kiwanis All-Star. The Coke Cat Classic will be held at Calga Falls High April the 2nd. Uh, Stark and Cleveland All-Stars at 7 o'clock. The Akron City Stars and Summit Stars at 9 o'clock at Falls High on April the 2nd. The Akron Cleveland Browns Booster Club will have a benefit basketball game. That'll be at Calga Falls High as well later on on April 25th, 2 o'clock. Tickets at Robert Hummel Insurance, Jim Hummiston Quality Appliance, Ramada Inn Montrose, Wendy's and Ohio Tucks. And a lot of good things coming up. The Class AA Baseball League of Akron, Ohio will have its final meeting at the Polish American Club on Saturday, April 4th, 3 o'clock. Any teams interested, come on in and join up. And if you haven't helped your high school out, 
They say about 10 to 15 percent of the alumni of the high schools anywhere return to their schools and help them out some way. These coaches and these players uh, do a great job. And whether your team had a 5 and 19 record or 19 and 5, give them some help. The spring sports really need the help. And the only way the schools can make the money, we want our schools to stay as good as they are. We don't get in trouble that some of these out of town schools have gotten into. Our schools are competitive. We've got a lot of good people working to keep them competitive, both athletically and scholastically. So help out the football and basketball programs because they pay the way for all the other sports, and especially the girls' sports now. And that's really big, getting big now. A lot of bills to be paid on the high school scene. Okay, Rudy, right here at halftime, Barberton uh, right in it with Toledo Scott. They trail by two, 26-24, and we'll be ready for the second half tip-off. This morning, state AAA semifinal game right after this. In the spirit of the soaring American Eagle, we at First National Bank are finding ways to bring you greater financial freedom. Freedom-oriented services, such as 24-hour banking, the time postage saving convenience of paying bills by phone, low cost auto leasing, the opportunity to earn interest on the money in your checking account. These are just a few of the ways First National helps you reach out toward greater financial freedom. They are all yours in the spirit reflected by the soaring flight of the American Eagle. Halftime from St. John's Arena, Toledo Scott Bulldogs 26, the Barberton Magics 24. Well, we've probably got the fellow who made the longest trip in the world to get here to this afternoon morning ball game. Jim Smart's brother, Larry, flew home from San Diego. Oh, got it off from the Navy just to come and see his brother and the Magics in action. He's got the been the uh, longest trip down here to see his Magics in action. It's a 50-50 shot. The Magics a lot of time left, and uh, they got to do a little bit more uh, work in the ball handling department. 16 turnovers, allowing Cleto Scott that many extra attempts at the hoop. They just cannot afford to do here in the second half. They got by in the first half. Cleto only has the two-point lead. David Blanks, 6'4", senior, comes out for the Barberton Magics, and he'll be jumping center with number 55, Seaborn White of the Toledo Scott Bulldogs to open the third quarter of play. Ready to go. There's the tip. Blanks slaps it back to Richard Sims. And Barberton with the basketball to start the second half. The shot on the baseline by uh, Anasik partially blocked. White got it. Cleared it off to Draper. Two on one. Draper to Smith. Goes to the bucket but traveled. And there's another turnover here once again. 26-24, Toledo Scott leads, Barberton by two, they press in the backcourt, Sims ahead to Blanks, two on one, Blanks pulls up from 15, missed the shot, and Draper got the rebound, throws it ahead for Smith, tries to outrace the Barberton defense, lost the basketball underneath the whistle, and he turned it over again. Two trips down the floor and two turnovers for Toledo Scott. No scoring yet in the second half. As Smart throws it into Anasik. Down the right side to Sims. Sims goes to the baseline. Back on top to Ondecker. Ondecker loops it in the corner to Sims. Sims goes down the baseline, and he's called for a violation. Or maybe he was fouled back there in the corner. I think Pope got a piece of him down there. That'll be Donald Pope's second personal foul. And, of course, only the first one here in this second half. And Barberton will get the basketball out of bounds. Smart into Ondecker around to Blanks on the left wing in the corner to Todd Onisic. Onisic up against Smith and Pope. Got it away to Ondecker. The Sibs around the perimeter on the baseline. Smart 18-footer. Got it. Jim Smart with his first two. And it's a tie game again at 26-all. As Toledo Scott is met at the timeline by Anasik and Ondecker. Roberts with it, off to Draper. Back over to Roberts. Lofts it on the baseline. Seaburn White around, blanks into the lane. Had it knocked away by Smart. He got the loose ball. Ahead to Anasik. 
Anasik down the right side for Barberton. Anasik behind him in the corner to Blanks. Roberts stepped in, knocked it away, and Blanks got hit on the wrist and is trying to shake it off. Smart will inbound. Jim Smart along the right sideline into Ondecker. Now they move it back over to the left. Now on Decker to the right, Smart on the baseline, double team by Pope and Roberts, a whistle again and a foul called. That's going to be on Toledo Scott with that pressure in the corner. That's Michael Roberts, that should be number four. Second leading scorer in the first half for the Bulldogs. It is his fourth. And he also tends to quarterback this team offensively. That's a... Big man to have in trouble right now for Toledo Scott. He's going to have to sit down with those four fouls. Michael Roberts replaced in the ball game by Daryl Sheldon. 6'3", junior. Here's Sims, left of the foul line from 20 feet, rolls off the rim, and Seaburn White got the rebound. Ahead to Smith in the forecourt. Smith around the defense of the board, missed the easy bunny. Underneath, Sheldon had it, lost it, and Barberton gets it back. Well, that's almost as good as a turnover. The wild shot by Smith is really off. Four times down court. One missed shot for Toledo. The Magic's got to take advantage of this. Anasik to the baseline on the right side. Back on top to Ondecker. Ondecker moves right. To Anasik in the corner. Back it goes to Ondecker as Barberton has to go around the perimeter. They can't get inside. Smart deep left corner. Got another one. Jim Smart with four points, all four of the points for the Magics in the second half. We've got a timeout. Barberton has grabbed the lead back. They have Toledo Scott down 28-26 with 5.57 to go. Third period back after this. To keep your car running better, smoother, longer, turn it over to Goodyear for a 12-month engine tune-up. The Goodyear service store will tune your engine now and back it up for a full year. And if your car needs adjustment or parts replaced that were part of the original tune-up, Goodyear will fix it, free of charge. Get a 12-month engine tune-up now for your car at this low price. Come up to Goodyear. We never doubted you for a minute. That's how Divorce feels about the Barberton Championship season. Win or lose, Divorce congratulates Barberton on their tremendous success. It's the same drive for excellence that's part of Divorce Hoppigan Gardens. Excellence in food and service and a desire to please every customer. There's something on the Divorce menu to please everyone, but that's only part of the reason Divorce is as popular as they are. It's their delicious crispy fried chicken dinners, like the Divorce Carryout Special, a 15-piece bucket of chicken with coleslaw and hot sauce. You'll love it. That's Divorce Hoppigan Gardens, Hoppigan Extension, Barberton. 26 with 5.57 to go in the third period. And the Barberton fans getting excited now as we come into the stretch run of this state AAA semifinal game. Draper tries to go through two of them. Sims picks it up. On Decker, the easy one. He's got it. The defense turns, uh, turns the ball over and gets Barberton two more points. They lead 30-26. Down the floor come the match. Shellman with it. Off to Smith, left wing, in and out. The big scorer still can't get it going out of bounds. It belongs to Toledo Scott. Jim Smith averages 25 a game. He has six so far this afternoon for Toledo Scott. Hitting only three out of nine from the field and missing both foul shots he had in the second quarter. Gerald Sheldon to inbound for the Bulldogs. They get it back to Draper on top. Draper off to Smith on right wing. On top to Sheldon, lost it, has to go back and pick it up near the timeline. Back over to Smith along the right sideline. Smith picked up by the Barberton defense. Back to Draper on top. And Toledo Scott can't penetrate either. Smith goes to the baseline over Smart, missed it, and bounces around and went down. I don't think Taylor touched it, so they'll give Smith the basket. That's eight points now for him. It's Barberton up by two at 30-28. Honest goes into the lane, stops. Bounces off the blanks around Seaburn White. Now over him with the shot in and out. They battle for the rebound. Smart's got it. Puts it up. He's fouled. Boy, good hustle that time by Jim Smart to keep possession of the basketball for Barber. Then going right back at the hoop with it. With all that tall timber in there, he was bound to get fouled or stuffed right back in his face. He's going to pick up the personal foul and get a chance to add a couple of more points. He's hit two from the coffin corner so far here in the third quarter for his only points of the game. 
Smart at the free throw line, a 6-2 senior. Had the first two buckets of the second half. The Barberton fans behind the basket applaud as Smart makes the first one. To make it 31-28, Barberton. Second Smart free throw, also perfect, and the Magic's lead it by 4, 32-28. Now they press in the backcourt. Williams guarded by Smart, stops the dribble, hands behind him to Willie Shelton, around Jim Smart to the forecourt, and now Toledo Scott going to try and set it up. Willie Shelton and Smith deep in the Ooh. corner, hit one. Jim Smith with 10 points, 32-30. Barberton's lead cut to two. Hondecker and Sims out front with it for the Magic. Smart drops it inside for Anisik, but there's a foul as Willie Shelton tried to slow Anisik down as he was cutting across the lane for that pass. That'll be the second personal on Willie Shelton. Team foul number three on the Bulldogs in the third quarter. None have been called on Barberton as of yet. Jim Smart will inbound again for the Magic's right of the hoop. Bounces it in for Ron Decker, and Williams knocks it away and out of bounds. One more try at it for Barberton. 4.20 to go, third quarter. The Magic's up by two. Smart looks with Taylor leaping in front of him. Found on Decker now. And Todd on Decker with the dribble between the circles, working against Williams. Back to Smart. Jim Smart starts the dribble, goes into the lane, shoots it across the Sims, faked, and he travels. And then as he went up for the shot, Eric Williams got a piece of him, but it was after the traveling call. 32-30, Barberton leads by two, and Toledo Scott can tie it up again, this time down the floor. 4.05 to go in the third period. Williams with the dribble, off in front of him to Shelton. Shelton dribbles right, gets it off, Smith right wing, another long 20-footer miss, Taylor the rebound, put it up and in. Reggie Taylor's first two, and Toledo Scott is tied in at 32 all after Barberton enjoyed a four point lead. That's 10 ties in the game. Ondecker down the lane, knocked away by Williams, but a foul called, and it could be on Williams. He and Seaburn White were there in front of Ondecker, but Williams drew the personal. His first. And that is team foul number four in this half against Toledo Scott. Barberton will be in the bonus from here on out as Todd Ondecker goes to the free throw line. Now he's shooting two as he was fouled in the act of shooting. Ondecker with four points in the game, makes the first free throw, and Barberton leads again, 33-32, as those in purple applaud. 3.42 to go in the third period. Here's Ondecker eyeing up the basket and shooting it down and through. Barberton leads by a bucket again, 34-32, and they put the pressure defense on. Sheldon lost it by the scorer's table. Barberton's got it back. The Magic's up by two and with the basketball in the forecourt. 3.36 to go. Smart into Sims. Sims with the dribble back on top. Sims off to Anasik. Anasik starts the dribble. Tries to get around his man. Sheldon goes to the baseline. Now shoots it up over him short. The ball comes down to White. He almost lost it. Sheldon saved it on the back line. He went down and he's called for traveling. And the Barberton fans are right there to remind him. J.K. is going to come in the Barberton lineup replacing Onisic. That's turnover number six in this quarter. Against Toledo Scott, the Magics, after a whole bunch in the first half, committed only one this quarter. Smart's pass is knocked back into the Barberton crowd by Reggie Taylor. Jack Reynolds back on the bench now, a little bit more relaxed, but a two-point lead, 34-32, Barberton. 3-12 to go in the third period. On Decker with the dribble. Back behind him to J.K. Grenells, who holds it, tosses it for Smart. They missed the interception. Sims in the corner was cut off on the baseline by White. Now back to Grenell. To Sims. Sims out right by the timeline now. Right by the big scarlet gray O here at St. John. And Smith runs into blanks out front. And I think we're going to have a foul call there. Jim Smith, they were 
trying to set a pick on him, and he just ran right into David Blanks. Magics are in excellent position right now. Two minutes and 48 seconds to go. They've got the one and one, the remainder of the ball game. Scott wants to call a timeout. They trail by two. It's Barberton 34-32. We'll be back after this timeout. For all those strikes you almost made, and all those spares that just weren't there, now there's a game that's right up your alley. Ohio's new instant lottery, Strike for Cash, with a chance to win up to $5,000. And all you do is rub the ticket. If your score beats your opponents in any of the three games, you win. So if your game has sunk to a new low, try Ohio's new instant lottery bowling game, Strike for Cash. You could come up a $5,000 winner. Be sure to play our $20 million quality game. Think I could win? Sure. Hundreds of thousands of possible winners every day. Wouldn't mind winning some of this 100% All-American beef. Maybe we're an instant winner. Coca-Cola, a quarter pounder, maybe even a half a million dollars. Oh, I can't look. You won. <gasps> McDonald's. Doing the Magics will be at the foul line, and right now it looks like the momentum's going their way, Rudy. No doubt about it. They keep their cool here. Blank should be at the line. He has missed uh, two out of three so far. He has seven, in the, seven points and seven rebounds in the game. But uh, he's usually a better foul shooter than that. If he would have sold or would have snuck in 54 more people, would have had 14,000 on hand this morning. 13,946. Down here at good old St. John's Arena. David Blanks at the free throw line now for Barberton. 6'4 senior, averaging almost 14 a game. First one on the one and one comes off no good, and Seaburn White got the rebound for Toledo Scott. The Bulldogs come down the floor. Eric Williams at the point. Now off to Draper. That's Quentin Harris in the lane, has it partially blocked, and Sims went up high to get the basketball. Barberton's got it back. With the two-point lead and two and a half minutes to go in the third period. J.K. Grenell stands with it over there on the right side. Now back over to Sims. They've got the offense now out front. Sims to Ondecker. They tried to work something there. It didn't uh, come about. Blanks on the baseline back on top to Sims. Barberton has their offense spread all over the floor right now. Blanks into Smart. Left of the lane. Back on top it goes. And they'll set it back up. Reynolds now with the dribble to the right side, off to Sims. Dribbles across the floor, gives it to Ondecker. Back to Sims. There's Smart with it. Smart to Ondecker going into the lane, knocked away. Draper's got the basketball. Draper all the way, got two. Robert Draper with a steal and a bucket. Barberton trying to set up that spread offense. Has it backfire. Pass underneath. Smart got it off a deflection and then got a basket. Quentin Harris got a piece of it. But Jim Smart stayed right with it for his eighth point. It's 36-34. Barberton back in the lead. Scott had it tied only momentarily. 1.23 to go in the third period. Draper on top. Off to Quentin Harris again. Hands it back to Eric Williams. To Harris. Fakes. Back to Williams. And Toledo Scott getting a little deliberate here. 1.08 to go third period. Draper into the lane. Off to Williams. Fakes. Up from the right of the lane. Got it. Eric Williams first two and we're tied again at 36 under a minute to go third period. On Decker to Smart to Sims and they'll pull it back out and set up the offense. On Decker bounces it off right wing to Grenells goes to the baseline over White got it up and down. J.K. Grenells shot it over the big man for his eight point. 38 36 Barberton has the lead back again with 37 seconds left in the third period. Williams traps, throws it for Draper. He runs into Smart, and a blocking foul on Smart, who is down and hurt. Yeah, he got a pretty good elbow to the belly that time. Uh, might have been a charging foul. He called it the other way on Jim Smart. That'll be his third personal foul. He's had a good third quarter, hitting three out of three from the field, two for two at the line. Eight points to keep the Magics ahead of these tough Bulldogs. Smart up on his feet, taking a few breaths now. Looks like he's going to stay in there. And Toledo Scott will have the basketball. They are not yet in the bonus, so they'll be inbounding it. 
Now they'll, they'll give him a rest to start that fourth quarter. Rob Mullet coming in, and also Terry Wygan's going to be coming in for Ondecker in the Magic lineup. 38-36, Barbara by two. They've had the lead for most of this third period, although it hasn't been a big one. Four points, the biggest lead they've had. Draper over to Williams. Williams off on right wing with 27 seconds left in the period. Draper and Williams work it again. Williams up from 18, short with a shot. The ball knocked around. Blank's got it down. Off to Mullet. To Wigan and Barberton will again be playing for the last shot of the period. Third time in a row now. Under 10 seconds left. Reynolds goes into the lane, has it knocked away. Williams got the loose ball. To Draper, five seconds left. Four. Draper pulls up from 10 feet, got it, and that's the end of the third period. Toledo Scott tied it on that final shot at the end of the third quarter by Robert Draper. Going into the fourth and final period of play. Barber at 38, Toledo Scott 38, back right after this. The American Eagle is constantly seeking new ways to expand its precious habitat and rediscover the total freedom it once enjoyed. The people of this community are also seeking ways to increase their banking freedom, and they're turning to First National's Freedom 24 automated teller machine. Because with Freedom 24, you can take care of nearly all your banking needs 24 hours a day, every day of the year. And you can enjoy the freedom of Freedom 24 banking at 14 area locations, including our new drive-in at the Bailey Road office and our new Oregon Corners office in Stowe. Come to any First National office and find out how easy it is to do your banking anytime you like with the Freedom 24 automated teller machine. Discover total banking freedom. Soar with the eagle at First National Bank of Akron. They generate the fourth and final period about ready to begin, and this is where all the excitement will come to a head. It's been a close game throughout, and we go into the final period tied 38-38. Toledo Scott with a little momentum has barbered it for the third time. Rudy played for the last shot only to have it backfire. Well, the last time's the charm. Maybe the fourth time will be the charm for the Magic. Maybe they won't need it. They've got the one and one in their favor. If they can get a couple of baskets, three baskets unanswered, They'll be in great position then. Here comes Blank. Seaborn White for the fourth quarter tip off. There it goes. And it's controlled by Smith of Toledo Scott. Across the lane, he tried to pass to Williams. The ball loose underneath. They dive on the floor. Roberts got it. And then he's called for three seconds in the leg. Barberton gets it back on a turnover. Toledo Scott came out a little juiced up there on that tip. Off of that uh, final bucket at the end of the third period. And Grenell's up on his feet, wants him moving around, spreading out that offense. Toledo Scott's in a zone. Grenell's off on the baseline to Sims. Sims into the lane. Why again? The little man open underneath. Knocked away by Pope as he blocked the shot from behind. Smith got the loose ball. He's got it into Draper. Pope working on Sims. Throws it back on top. Around it goes. Here with the basketball, Roberts into the lane, he traveled. Those turnovers are killing Toledo Scott right now. Well, that's eight here in the second half, 18 in the ball game. The Magics have committed 19, only three here so far in the second half. Wygant moves up, and he's knocked immediately by Robert Draper, who's called for the foul. Toledo Scott, when they put the pressure on, they want to be a little bit careful because Barbert has got the bonus, and they do not here in the second half. In fact, Barbara has only got one team foul. So Toledo Scott is a good ways away from being in the bonus situation themselves. One of the big advantages Barbara has going into this fourth and final period. 7-17 left in the game. Terry Wygant, who has yet to score, at the free throw line for the first time, missed it, and Robertson White up high for the rebound for Toledo Scott. Roberts will bring it down the floor for the Bulldogs. Gets instructions from his coach, Ben Williams. Sets it up. High post, Smith over blanks, rolls around and down. Jim Smith with 12, and Toledo Scott has taken the lead at 40 to 38 with 6.55 to go. Reynolds down the floor to Mullet. Mullet down the left side. 
Mullen looking for someone triple teamed off the Sims down the lane up with the shot he got it but we got a violation on Barberton or a foul in the lane before the shot that's going to go against Toledo Scott someone was pushing off for them Robert Draper drew that personal his second and it was before the Sims shot he kind of threw a hand across to stop Richard Sims penetration before he actually got airborne now Sims had a good first quarter for five points a basket in the second quarter is held scoreless in the third quarter missing both shots from the field seven points in the game he cashes the first foul shot he now has eight that was a one and one so he needed that first end of it 40 to 39 Barberton down by a point but Sims can tie it here and Todd Ondecker is going to come back in the game for Terry Wygant for Barberton on Decker the uh, senior 510 the starter Sims at the free throw line now for the second foul shot to tie it up he eyes it up there it goes hits the back rolls off and Pope got the rebound Pope underneath is tied up and another whistle and that could be a foul on Barberton they're walking over the scorers table now with it got bullet reaching in heck somebody on the arm Rob Mullet's first personal. That's the second team foul against Barberton. Onisic back in the game for the Magics. And they have the backcourt press on against Toledo, trying to bring it up. Smith will inbound, gets it in to Draper. Draper down the sideline to White. White to the baseline, cut off by Blanks, almost traveled. Oh, he was, if he was, wasn't there, he was only a half a millisecond away. Draper left wing, right through the twine. Robert Draper with eight points, a three-point Toledo Scott lead at 42-39. Barberton with 6.20 to go. Reynolds to the right of the foul line on the left baseline. Blanks up from 18, got it. Reynolds had to drop that pass in there perfectly. It was a chancy one, but he got it in, and Blanks got the shot away for his ninth point. Draper down the floor for the Bulldogs. Behind him in the lane, Smith to the bucket, rules off no good, a foul called. And that's on blanks of Barberton. Now the Magics may have dodged a little bullet there, Rudy, because that had all the possibilities of a three-point play. It just rolled off the rim. A little bit of luck left with the Magics here. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Jim Smith, 6'4", senior, be at the line for the Bulldogs. He has had a very tough shooting night. He's got 12 points in the ball game, but he's only hit on six out of 13 from the field at the foul line. He is 0 for 2. And he cashes that one. This is the fellow that averages 25 a game for Toledo, Scott. He was held down, especially in the first quarter. Came back with a couple of buckets in the second and third period. And is now uh, really here in the second half, making his presence felt a little bit. He cans the second free throw to make it 44-41. Toledo, Scott up by three again. 14 points for Smith. The Magic fans now on their feet behind the hoop that they're going toward. 5.50 to go in the game. The winner moves out of the state championship up there tomorrow afternoon at 3. Reynolds and Ondecker are throwing it back and forth. Now over to Sims on left wing in the corner. Onisic has it blocked by Smith. Jim Smith got right up there in his face and knocked it away. Barberton will inbound from the corner. J.K. Grenells into Wygan to Sims on top. On Decker back to Sims over to Onisic. On Decker open on left wing. It's an air ball. Smith's got it underneath, but blocked by Pope. A whistle and a foul called on Pope. His third personal. Right now it looks like the uh, size and physical capabilities of Toledo Scott are starting to uh, take over just a bit. Well, it's only three-point lead right now. Sims at the Lions, a chance for the one-on-one -on -one to bring it back to within one point. The Magic's getting the opportunities at the hoop. They just aren't cashing. There's another missed foul shot. That's the third missed foul shot of this quarter. You can't do that against the Toledo Ball Club. Barberton had the big advantage being in the bonus and having only one team foul of themselves coming to this fourth period. But they've had trouble at the foul line, as Rudy noted. Sims makes the second one. To cut the lead to a bucket at 44-42. Toledo Scott with 5.20 to go in the game. Roberts out front. 
Roberts throws it to Smith. He goes to the hoop. Blank's got a piece of it. The ball loose to Pope. Back on top to Roberts. Back over to Smith on left wing. Roberts has it again. Spins away from Grenells. Puts it up from 18. High off the rim. He missed. Smith the rebound off the glass. He missed. And Parvin had got the basketball. Down the floor. Sims to Grenells. Fakes. Eight footer on the baseline. Good. J.K. Grenells with 10. It's 44 44. And a foul call. The bucket will count. It's a 44-44 tie. It was on Michael Roberts. That'll be number five on him. He'll foul out of the ball game with eight points. But Robert Draper, number 13, has been doing a fine job for the Bulldogs here in the second half in helping direct the attack as Roberts fouls out with eight points. Well, Score has now been tied 14 times. Still a big man to lose, though. Roberts is kind of the quarterback on offense, and he makes some things happen. And Draper. Certainly Toledo Scott's going to miss his presence. Draper has also got four points, and his shooting's a little bit better, hitting on four out of seven from the field. So he's going to find job. Toledo's going to call a timeout. Tied up at 44 all. We will be right back. Visit your nearest surplus junk store for power and hand tools, socket sets, wrenches, and screwdrivers, nuts, bolts, and drill bits sold by the pound at surplus junk stores. Drill presses, Lincoln welders, air compressors, and power generators to suit every need. Foam rubber and upholstery materials, plus housewares and cleaning aids. Also, backpacks for hikers and campers, motor oil, waxes, polishes, and additives for your car. The surplus junk stores in Akron, Canton, and Brunswick. Use your Visa or MasterCard. When you get a craving for pizza and nothing else will do, then Pizza Hut is a place for you. Nothing but that pizza will do for you when you just got to have that ooh, homemade taste. All your favorite toppings can't wait. When you just got to have that mmm, there's nothing like pan pizza at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurant. Your hometown Pizza Hut. Home of pan pizza. Couple of Henry Aarons on the scoreboard. Barberton 44, Toledo Scott 44. J.K. Grenell's going to try to cap a three-point play and give the Magics a one-point lead with four minutes, 52 seconds remaining in the ballgame. Reynolds at the free throw line. He made that uh, jumper from the baseline and drew the foul on Roberts and fouled him out. Reynolds completes the three-point play. He's got 11 on the morning and afternoon, and Barberton with the lead, 45-44. They press in the backcourt. Toledo Scott breaks it. Smith down to Seaford. White up from eight feet. Got it. Seaford White, 12 point, puts Toledo Scott back on top, 46-45. Barberton with it now. J.K. Grenell working against Reggie Taylor. Comes all the way back across the front. Off to Ondecker. To Richard Sims. He throws it back to Grenells on the top. J.K. Grenells down the floor. Down the left side. Still with the dribble. Taylor on him. Tries to hand off to Blank. Somebody reached in. White and he draws the foul. Right in front of the Barberton bench. That'll be White's third personal. David, David Blanks go to the line. So far, has hit only one out of three. Has nine points in the ball game and eight rebounds. Blank steps up, 6'4", senior center. Puts it up. Got it. Blanks has 10 points, and it's tied again at 46-46. Now he can put Barberton back in a one-point lead. It's up and good. 47-46, Barberton on top with 418 to go. A one-point ball game. Coming down the final leg here, the state AAA semifinal. Toledo Scott breaks the press. Smith from 20 feet, no good with the shot. Everyone crashes the boards and down. The ball goes out of bounds, and what have we got? Might have been on Richard Sims. I think he's the one that took everybody out of bounds. Crashing over the top. Yep. Sims draws his third personal. And for Toledo Scott, they not yet in the bonus, will be inbounding the basketball. 
Reggie Taylor throws it on top to Smith. Back over to Draper, who is the, really the lone guard in there now. After Roberts fouled out, Smith again from 20 feet hit this one. He keeps going to the wing and trying it. That time he got it down. 16 points for him. 48-47. Toledo Scott by a point again. 348 to go. Flags left corner. Pope partially blocked it. White got the ball in midair. Ahead to Draper, who comes around Reynolds into the forecourt down the lane. Off for Pope. The ball knocked around. On Decker got it. Pope was in waiting for it, but Smith intercepts the pass for Reynolds. Two on one. Off to Taylor from eight feet. It rolls off. Smith with the rebound. Got it off the glass. The bucket doesn't count. A foul is called. And that's going to be on Todd Ondecker. And let's see if this one's going to be in the act of shooting or not. No. It's going to uh, put Toledo Scott in the bonus, though, finally. Ondecker's second personal. And Smith will go to the free throw line for one and one now. He sort of snuck up in getting his points here tonight. You know, he's been missing a whole lot of shots. Now has 16 in the game. He's a good shooter, especially from that wing, boy. He gets nothing but nips. 3.26 left in the game. Toledo Scott on top by a point, 48-47. Smith's first free throw misses, and Grenell's got the rebound. Barberton with the basketball down by a point. Ondecker and Grenell's throwing it back and forth out front. Back to Ondecker. Ondecker at the point to Grenell's. They have it pulled way out right now. Trying to spread the offense. You can be sure the Magics aren't going to take anything that isn't a good shot right now. We're under three minutes to go in the state AAA semifinal. Anasik on left wing to the baseline goes to the hoop over. White got it. He unmuscled White that time. And Barberton with the lead back. Smith to the right baseline shoots again and misses. And Anasik was there to get the basketball. Barberton leads 49-48. A chance to string it out to a three-point edge. The blanks on the left sideline. Back to Grenells, he almost lost it. Smith almost had it, but Barberton gets it back. Jim Smith couldn't find the handle after he touched the basketball and it went out of bounds in front of the Magic's bench. Jim Smart will come back in to replace Todd Odisic for Barberton with 2.32 to go. 49-48, Barberton by a point. Smart into Sims right in front of Jack Grenells. Sims now dribbling freely. Moves toward the right. Stops at the top. Holds the basketball. Gives it to Ondecker behind him. This is Grenells at the point. Grenells guarded by Willie Shelton. Back to Sims. 2.13 left in the game. And Barberton with the one-point lead in the basketball is going to maintain that control, it looks like, as long as they can. Grenells dribbles through two of them. Blanks right baseline. Pops it. Missed it. And Sheldon the rebound. The Smith ran into Ondecker, who's got the foul. It's Smith. It's fourth. Boy, there's a break for the Magic. David Blank popping from the coffin corner. And Smith coming down here. Personal foul number four on their best player on Toledo's ball club. 159 to go. The Magic's clinging to the one-point lead. They'll have the basketball once again. Smith and on Decker colliding, and the call going Barberton's way. Reynolds into blanks. Back to J.K. Reynolds, and that ball kicked away by Draper. Definitely the Magics are going to try and hold out of the basketball as long as they can. And now Toledo Scott really pressuring him, and Jack Reynolds wants timeout. He saw that pressure coming and wants to make some adjustments. 155 to go, Barberton 49, Toledo Scott 48, back after this. If you plan to keep your car for a while, turn it over to Goodyear regularly for a lube and oil change. Changing oil, as recommended by the manufacturer, is one of the best ways to keep your engine running smoothly, mile after mile. And your Goodyear service store will do it quickly. And we'll do it right with a lube and up to five quarts of major brand oil. Get a lube and oil change now at this low price. Come up to Goodyear. We never doubted you for a minute, 
That's how Divorce feels about the Barberton Championship season. Win or lose, Divorce congratulates Barberton on their tremendous success. It's the same drive for excellence that's part of Divorce Hoppigan Gardens. Excellence in food and service and a desire to please every customer. There's something on the Divorce menu to please everyone, but that's only part of the reason Divorce is as popular as they are. It's their delicious crispy fried chicken dinners, like the Divorce Carryout Special, a 15-piece bucket of chicken with coleslaw and hot sauce. You'll love it. That's Divorce Hoppigan Gardens, Hoppigan Extension, Barberton one point. They'll try to inbound against a lot of pressure put on by the Bulldogs. Once again, they get it in. Blanks with it. Over to Grinnell. Now the ball handling is going to be tough for Barberton. They have it knocked away. White picked up the loose ball to Draper. Behind him to Smith. Knocked away by Ondecker, but he threw a foul. And Ondecker probably drew a smart one there because Smith was headed right for the basket. 1.45 to go. It's Toledo Scott, Jim Smith. Will be at the free throw line where he has really not fared too well. Only two of five so far this morning and this afternoon. He'll be at the charity stripe with a chance to tie it up or put Toledo Scott ahead. It'll be one and one. Smith taking his time. He's shooting towards the Toledo crowd. The ball up. Good. Smith in the ball game with 17 points to lead the Toledo Scott scoring again. It's tied at 49 all as Smith steps up to try and put the Bulldogs ahead. Again, taking plenty of time. Tosses it up and both of the shots, nothing but net. Toledo Scott leads Barbara at 50 49. Now the Magics have to get something on the board with 139 to go in the game. Ondecker and Grenells out front tossing it back and forth. They're not in a hurry to get this shot away. Going to try and uh, play for the best they can. Sims in the lane, puts it up over Pope and got it. He anticipated Pope's jump beautifully and got the shot over him. 51-50, Barberton in the lead again. With 113 to go, Draper into the lane, partially blocked by Blanks who got it back. Barberton with a one-point lead. The basketball is only about a minute to play. Zim to Grinnell. The Magic's going to hold on, try and just eat up as much time as they can, and there's a foul called. Could be on Draper. That's his third personal foul, but the important thing is right now, this is the position the Magic have been in throughout the tournament. They have cashed in at the foul line in the closing moments of all their wins. Sometimes they haven't made all of them to make it even more closer and exciting, but they have been very good and consistent at the foul line. Richard Sims has hit two out of three at the line in this quarter, three out of four for the three out of five in the game. Big free throws. Richard Sims gets it right through the net. He made that bucket that gave Barbert in the lead. Now he makes the foul shot to string it out to a two point edge. In the ball game, that is 12 points for Richard Sims. Second free throw, also good. And Barberton leads by three now, 53-50 with 56 seconds to play. Smith down the floor for Toledo Scott. Guarded by Grinnell. Puts it up from right wing. Forced the shot, flanks the rebound. Ahead to Grinnell, threw his hands. He saved it, though, toward the back. Then knocked away, and it's still Barberton's basketball. 42 seconds to play. And the Magic's lead it 53 to 50. Good sky by David Blanks for his 10th rebound to get the ball back to Barberton on that last missed shot by Smith. Sims looking to inbound to Blanks, to Grinnell, goes down the lane, pulls it out. The Magic's have it in control, but Draper gets the loose ball. Knocked away by Pope to Smith, and he got two. Jim Smith makes it a one-point game with 30 seconds left. Barberton quickly into the forecourt, 26 seconds left. 53-52, Barberton leads by one. Sims out front, over to Ondecker. Scott trying to get to the basketball. Draper draws the foul, that's his fourth. And we have 17 seconds to play. And now it's all on Todd Ondecker's shoulders to make the free throw. Well, the 6'1 senior, he is a good shooter. He's been, uh, well, somebody's gonna call a timeout here. Barberton, 53. Toledo Scott, 52. We will be right back. Got car fever? 
we've got the solution. Convenience of location is an important part of any automobile transaction. We can offer convenient Interstate 76 accessibility to the greater Akron-Canton-Cleveland area. Easy to find, easy to get to, not difficult to deal with. Mary Oldsmobile, Interstate 76 at the Barberton Norton Barber Road, Exit 16 in Barberton. Red Label Bologna for 89 cents a pound, now at Lawson's. Lawson, aren't you glad we're here? Friends Office Equipment announces the chair sale of the year. Why wait for a new chair when you can buy one now at Friends for 30% off? Friends Office Equipment in downtown Akron, come in today. Hi, this is Mike Dauberton speaking for the Communications Workers of America. The members of Local 4302 wish the Barberton Magics good luck and victory. The board, 17 seconds to go, and the Magics have a chance to go on top by three if Ondecker can connect. So far, he's got six points in the ball game, two for three from the field, two for two with the line. And if he misses, Toledo Scott gets the rebound. They have a chance to take the lead back in the final seconds. Ondecker gets the free throw. Todd Ondecker with seven points, three and three from the line. Now, here's an important one, too, because it'll make it a three-point bulge. Ondecker tosses it up. No good. The rebound knocked around. Smith has it. 15 seconds left. Barbered in by two. Smith drives down the floor, goes to the hole. What got the tip with eight seconds left? We're tied. And right now, the official comes over, and we've got what? Timeout call. Barber in 54, Toledo Scott 54, five seconds left and back right after this. In the spirit of the soaring American Eagle, we at First National Bank are finding ways to bring you greater financial freedom. Freedom-oriented services, such as 24-hour banking, the time and postage saving convenience of paying bills by phone, low-cost auto leasing, the opportunity to earn interest on the money in your checking account. These are just a few of the ways First National helps you reach out toward greater financial freedom. They are all yours in the spirit reflected by the soaring flight of the American Eagle. Member FDIC. It's been tied in the ball game, now it's 54 all. This is a dream of a lifetime, of course, just to reach the final four of the state championship finals, and of course, the ultimate dream, hitting the game-winning basket at the buzzer. Can the Magics do it with five seconds to go? They'll have the basketball. Jim Smith just playing forced that last shot, drove his way relentlessly to the hoop, and the shot was not a good one, but Seaburn White right there for the tip to tie it. Here's Barberton. Blanks throws it for Sims. It's knocked out of bounds right in front of us by Draper. Three seconds to go in the game. Barberton will inbound in the forecourt. Sims up from 20 feet. He he it the first Unbelievable! The referee comes down with the hand. It counts. Do you believe that? Richard Timms at the buzzer for the Barberton victory. The Magic move into the championship.